We got a problem. Makeup artist isn't here. Oh no. Morning guys, I'm here for the social media roundup every Saturday. And I'm here for my makeup. Yes. I'll watch makeup tutorials. Oh. Whose videos are you watching? I don't know. Bob Ross. What? Happy trees. Hey everyone, it's me, Renji, and I'll be bringing you this week's Social Media Roundup. To start off, we'd like to showcase the Instagram page of at Hartype. You can see she has passion for typography, and she was able to use her skills for a recent in concert. She says, Love it when my lettering project makes its way into my personal life. My faith is definitely an important part of my life and serves as my guiding light. Now that is awesome. Thursday the 26th was Australia Day in, you guessed it, Australia. And the Brethren in the District of Australia West used the day to hold a district-wide Unity Games. Check out some of these photos they posted. And check out this post from at Muriel. She wrote, This sister came all the way from Port Moresby from Papua New Guinea and is now the women's chess champion of the District of Australia West. Congratulations to all those who participated. Now let's travel all the way from Australia to Canada. Western Canada recently held a Band Together event. Be sure to check out the official Band Together Project Facebook page to see more Band Togethers from around the world. Over in Eastern Canada, at Shirley Girl 12 did a cover of the IMC song, Please Don't Say No, to invite her friends and followers to the locale of Beaconsfield. Please don't say no, won't you come with me? Take a look at this cute cover of Though I'm Little, posted by Sophia Jean Josen. The CWS officers in Burlingame, California came up with a way for their INC kids to make an origami version of Sweetie. I want to make one of those. Now, there aren't just activities for the kids. Over at High Point, North Carolina, they are holding a beginner's class painting activity. Be sure to share the paintings you like using the hashtags Crystal or IMC Media News. Maybe after a few lessons, you can make something like this watercolor painting of the chapel in Chicago that Jody tweeted by Santiago San Pedro. Wait a minute, Jody? And speaking of Chicago, some of the brethren made a 30-hour round-trip drive to assist with the outreach program and evangelical mission in scenic South Dakota. At Steph Dunogan posted, It's always so uplifting to visit the brethren in scenic South Dakota. Seeing their growth is both humbling and inspiring. Witnessing the first outreach last year and then seeing how far they've come was such an amazing thing to experience. This is why I love this duty so much. Being part of the Multimedia Bureau fuels my faith in ways I can't imagine. And at In Diana Joe 2 posted some pics of their road trip. Now that's all the time we have for you this week, but if you'd like to have your post featured on the show, use the tags Iglesia de Cristo and INC Media News. And don't forget to follow us on social media at our accounts listed below. Catch you next time.